Brock the hour, Brock the hour side, Brock the hour, Brock the hour side, Brock the hour, Brock the hour side. Oh, praise on the hour, me outside, we're all recorded with us. Double honors on three apostles of great millstone. And honors you over the pushing this trip with sincerity for the four corners of the earth. So, this is going to be a. Uh, um, uh, 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 oh, he's not going to be back out of here again for the grace of mercy if you are bossing me outside. Uh, to push this word, okay, um, I don't know how long I'm going to be out here because it's, uh, I think it's below zero at the minute, so I'll keep it going as long as, uh, as, uh, as long as I can and then, um, uh, get into the scriptures and whatever. So, uh, pretty much this week, I wanted to go into, um, uh, the topic of the, uh, the Israelite foreigners. Okay, you're gonna have to bear with me in that. All right, uh, um, but pretty much this week I was gonna go into the topic of the Israelite foreigners because you've got a lot of uh, uh, people out here, okay, that will ha uh, that think this movement, uh, for one, is, a, uh, is the black Hebrew Israelite movement, of which, what about the white Hebrew Israelites? You got Jake's out there, Israelites out there, okay, that were scattered, all right, um, to the far reaches of the world, like the that the Bible says, okay. If I, if I start off within this priest, and I did a, I did a, 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 um, a short video on this um, whilst I was at home uh, during the week, and after seeing that um, the Apostle Aram Lab, all right, had done a video on the same topic, I thought, you know what, maybe this, this is like the flavor of the week type thing. I mean, it's a reoccurring uh, theme. Uh, certainly within the scriptures, it's an important thing within the scriptures and it's an important thing to, um, you know, to touch on from time to time, okay, because um, cause, cause, cause you're going to have a lot of uh, 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 Jakes, okay, a lot of Israelites that are going to come in, all right, and they're going to be coming in and they're going to be looking like all these other different nations, the scripture says so, all right, so, so, so it's important always to top up on these scriptures and push it because you're going to have, remember, when the Lord was on the scene, who did he come to first? He came to the Israelites, okay, that, that knew that they were Israelites and they didn't receive him. But see, what you find out is for a lot, for a lot of them Jakes that are out there within the world right now, okay, uh, that look like the other nations, they're, they're more sincere than them straight up Israelites that you go out there like the IUIC and so on and so forth. So you're gonna have what's known as a, a, a repetition, all right, of, 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 of what you had back in the past. Okay, because back in the past you had it to a what? Right, the the, uh, the mercies, the doors of mercies were shown unto them Jews that were uh, um, within Jerusalem, but they didn't receive Yahushai. So what did the Lord end up doing? He, he ended up opening it out, okay, to the uh, to the Israelites, okay, the Israelite foreigners, and that's what Paul and them guys were doing, and that's what we're here doing now, because you had it to where the, the truth was out there in in in, 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 in in the states, and it was opened out there to them Jakes that was up there. And you had a lot of them fall out and after the year 2000. They went back into the world and started doing their own thing. Remember what the scripture says. The scripture says that what? If they, if the, you know, uh, uh, um, um, one, it says the, 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 the dogs return to his own vomit. I don't know if that's applicable. It might be applicable to this situation. I forget now. But uh, uh, the other precept that I was thinking of, okay, is pretty much um, what the scripture says. Uh, to how to, to renew them. Okay, to renew them um, back onto um, the, the, the mercies of Yahweh Shai, seeing that they've received the mercies, they've rejected it, and they're coming back again, that'll put the Lord up to an open shame. So you ain't gonna have a situation where you got uh, 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 Jake's Israelites, okay, uh, 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 that falling out, they're gonna, no, look, the most I could do whatever he wants, but for the most part, you ain't gonna have guys falling out and then they're gonna come back in and they're gonna be all right. Because they've really, really, they, really they've already had their chance. Okay, so let me start off here within the book of Deuteronomy, the 28th, the 28th chapter, 28th chapter on the 64th verse. Okay, and it goes, um, uh, Deuteronomy 28 and 64, and it says, And the Lord shall scatter thee, right, amongst uh, all nations from one end of the earth, right, even unto the other, and there you shall uh, uh, um, serve our gods which neither thou nor thy fathers have known. And what you find out about that precept is that that was fulfilled by way of, um, the different slaveries, the different captivities that we went through. Okay, so when we went through all of those different slaveries, okay, and, and the, the, you know, the different wars that were fought, the different battles, man, Jake was getting it in. Okay, excuse me. All right, Jake was pretty much getting it in. All right, now you check it out, you go back in the history and you look at 
pretty much where the nation got set up. The nation got set up, all right, in Egypt. All right, we, we was moved out of Egypt and then we got established or whatever, whatever. And then uh, by process of time and through uh, 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 the, the evils and the wickedness that, well, you had it to a certain, even before uh, the kingdom was transpired, okay, it was it, before it was broken down into the northern kingdom and the southern kingdom, before that happened, you even had it to where uh, um, certain guys were marrying into the um, into the Hermetic nations. So I believe, um, if I'm not mistaken, um, um, I forget the man's name, uh, that had married Jezebel, and Jezebel brought all of her priests and the people and whatever, whatever. So you you gotta you gotta believe during uh, times like that, you would have had it to where you know there was intermingling between the different nations, man. Okay, we left our seed amidst their women, and they left their seed amidst our women. Okay, but really they weren't. <coughs> we weren't supposed to be having it to where heathens was gonna lay down with our women. All right, but pretty much you had it to where even even during the times when you had the northern kingdom and the southern kingdom. Okay, you had it to where we was intermingling with the other nations. Well, you read about King Solomon. Right, pretty much King Solomon, he had what? He had a, 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 a thousand wives. Okay, he had a, he had a, he had a, uh, he had a thousand women. Sorry, right, six hundred concubines and four hundred wives. Now a lot of those were for what? They were for uh, uh, keeping the peace. Now just a footnote: if yeah, if if King Solomon, which was Yahweh's side, okay, was pretty much uh, uh, the king of peace. All right, which that's what the word uh, Solomon means means peace, if I'm not mistaken. Okay, if he was the king of peace, and he just went around marrying people, okay, to uh, to establish that peace. What are the men of the Lord going to be doing in the kingdom of heaven? Now, obviously, we know through the scriptures that these nations ain't ever going to rise again. But you better believe the other stuff that comes with it, keeping the peace, you know, treaties and so on and so forth. You go into the histories when you had different dynasties, whether it was the Greeks or whether it was us as the Israelites, okay? Just for good terms and good contracts, you had what was known as, uh, as, as, as um, uh, uh, deals that went down by a man basically giving his daughter off to, to another man's son okay so that marriage was what was the ceiling of that particular contract now you better believe when the law comes we ain't gonna need to do that but we're gonna do that because that's like a custom that we've always had you make an agreement with certain people now the agreement is that they're gonna be our slaves and we can do whatever we want with them <laughs> that's gonna be the new agreement but in the past times you had it to where you had deals go down and the deal was sealed off of, off of what off of a man saying look this is my daughter, okay, your daughter's going to marry my son and that's going to seal the deal. So even when you had those different things happening, different different contracts, okay, between the, um, the, the Hermetic nations or the Moabites or whatever, whatever, you had it to where Jake, okay, had their seed intermingled amidst those different nations, man. Now you fast forward to the time of the Babylonian captivity, you found out from the, the book of Daniels that pretty much, um, from the book of Daniels, you find out that uh, 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 um, what's this guy? Uh, Nebuchadnezzar had taken the Israelites. Okay, he took the children of Israel out there into the land of uh, uh, Babylon. Okay, and they was what? They was craftsmen. Okay, they was into you know working uh, uh, pottery. All right, because when you got a, a vast kingdom, right? It's, it's um when you got a vast kingdom. Okay, you're gonna want nice things, man. Okay, and if you want nice things, if you're a king or ruler or whatever, you want the nicest of everything. So you wanna you wanna have the nicest pottery, you want the nicest woodwork, okay? You want the uh, which is what car carpentry, right? And when you check out the history, when you check out the the the, the, uh, uh, the the slavery of Jake, okay? How they was always getting put in slavery. You find basically what you find out from the scriptures and what you find out from the history is that a lot of these so-called empires they built off of they built the empire so it was strong and and and, and um uh, 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 beautiful off of the works that Jake's. You no know, Israelites were putting in, but now check it out. You had it to where Nebuchadnezzar took all of them Israelites, okay, from the land of uh, Jerusalem into captivity to, to be what to be the best of the slaves, right? And they built built Babylon up to what it to what it was, right? They they made it they made it great or whatever. They made it glorious or whatever, whatever. But check it out. When the Israelites were over in the, within the land of Babylon, what was they doing, man? They was intermingling with the people of the uh, the people that was over there. Okay, they was they was they was breeding. They was leaving their seed over there. Okay, and then after the the, the Babylonians, you you had it to where, uh, um underneath this guy uh, underneath um uh, Zerubbabel, okay, uh, and a few other individuals. I believe Nehemiah comes up into there. Okay, Ezra, you had an influx of Israelites returning back onto the land of Israel, but not all of them Israelites came back. Okay, 
That's why you go to the um, media Persians. Um, if I'm not mistaken, after when you had it where the media Persian Empire was set up, you had it where you had uh, Mordecai and Esther and so on and so forth. Excuse me if my history is not so uh, so uh, on point, but I'm pretty sure that's because they had stayed. You know, you had a, you had a stronghold of Israelites out there within the land of uh, um, within the land of Babylon. Now that's just one instance. When you go into the later parts of because uh, you had it where the, the Babylonians they ruled for a period of time, okay, and then they was taken down by the Media Persians, and after them. You had it to where you had the, uh, the the Greeks take down the media Persians. Okay, so Alexander, he, you know, he fought wars, and that's recorded within the scriptures. Let me get that right quick. He fought battles with um, he fought battles with um, with who? He fought battles with um, uh, Darius the Mede. Now check this out. This is within the scriptures. And this is for you people there that say the, the the scriptures are fake or whatever, whatever. Well, the scriptures when you go into this certain uh, particular histories, like the, the the Greeks and so on and so forth. The most authentic source of history that they have for those accounts is the scriptures, man. So you're out there in the University of Cambridge or Oxford and so on and so forth, and you're studying a particular point within history, okay, dealing with the Greeks and so on and so forth. They say the most reliable source for that information is what? Is the scriptures. Okay, well, you're studying the ancient Babylonians. They tell you that the most reliable source for those things is what? Is the Bible, man. So that goes to show you the validity of these scriptures. Now check it out. This is the book of First Maccabees. And as we read this book of First Maccabees, you're going to find how these the Israelites that was intermingling, intermingling with these nations, okay, or they made particular contracts or they, they, they found the ways of the, uh, um, of, of the heathens, okay, more... Uh, 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 um, more uh, uh, exciting or whatever, whatever. So they assimilated to it. You're gonna find out that that was a that's like a reoccurring thing, man. Okay, so within this, okay, within the first book of Maccabees, you had an instance where you had Israelites, okay, conforming to the ways of the heathens, and the scripture says pretty much that they became like the heathen. Okay, they started dressing like them, and obviously, if you start dressing like them, you're gonna try to get with their women. So your children is gonna have what? What's known as a so-called better chance. Okay. But that's not how the Mosai set it up. But he, he did set it up to where what? The, 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 the Israelites was going to discontinue from their heritage. Jeremiah 17 and 4. That they was going to discontinue from their heritage. And it was going to be intermingled, spread uh, 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 amidst all of the nations. Okay, so the book of um, the book of 1 Maccabees 1. Excuse me, uh, Maccabees 1 and 1. It says, and it happened, right, that after Alexander, the son of uh, Philip the Macedonian, who came out of the land of Shittim, had smitten Darius the Mede, uh, the Persian, Darius of the king of the Persians and the Medes, all right, because you had the, what was known as the Media Persian Empire, okay, you had uh, the, the Medians, okay, and then the, the uh, they, you know, you had the Media Persian Empire. I mean, you check out the history, you find out what was going on at that time, you know. So, continuing, it says, um, he reigned in his stead. So, back then times, and really up until this point, although they won't have you believe so. You've always had it to where you have one ruling uh, uh, um, kingdom, okay, above all, all, all people upon the face of the earth. So prior to the media Persians, like I said, you had the Babylonians, and they run everything that happened on the earth, okay. Then you had the, the, the Greeks, the, 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 the media, uh, after the media Persians, the Greeks took them down, the Greeks became the Romans, and the Romans were taking down the Byzantine Empire, and then the Romans came back up again into power. That's why the scriptures talk about how that the beast, okay, we shall go into a... a uh, 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 shall go into the bottomless pit for a period of a thousand years and after that thousand years be fulfilled it was going to rise back up again well that's what the scripture is talking about it's talking about the rule of the Greco-Roman Empire okay of which when you had it to where the, 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 um, you had uh, what was known as the Byzantine Empire they weren't in power like that but they came back into power okay uh, 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 and now they're ruling Right, because pretty much you always have it where you got one class and one race of people running the world. And you ask these people who runs the world, they might say the Chinese, they might say the Americans, they might say if they're smart, and they might say something else, or they might say everybody's got a choice, okay, or the ability to 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 to, to rule or free will or whatever, whatever. But the reality of the situation is, if you ask them, what's the what's the what's the common what's the common language, okay? If you're if you go into aviation. Okay, you become a, 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 a pilot, okay, or you, you become an a, 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 a expert in, um, uh, 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 in technologies, okay, and you work on a submarine, basically you're going to have to speak one language, man, to become an astronaut or to do certain things, okay, what's known as the inter in, in, international language, okay, you're going to have to learn English. Now, the English ain't the what? The language of the, uh, uh, of the Africans, the Hamites out there within Africa, 
Okay, that's not the language of uh, uh, um, uh, 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 the Moabites out there, okay, or the Ishmaelites. That's Esau's language, man. Going to show you that the what? That the scripture within the book of Job, the ninth, ninth chapter and 24 verses fulfilled, in that the scripture says that the earth is given into the hand of the wicked. He covereth the faces of the judges thereof, because you had it to where you had judges before, but they did what was known as a, a thing called iconoclasm. Okay, they covered the, 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 exist, the judges, the, the Israelites that ruled the world. They covered all of those images up, man. Okay? But the scripture says that what? The earth is given into the hands of the wicked. And they're the ones that run what's going on down in the earth right now. Okay, so prior to going back onto the scripture here, prior to Alexander ruling, who was running everything that happens on the earth? It was the media of Persians. Okay? So it says there. Um, um, and had smitten Darius, okay, the king of the of media Persians. Oh, yo, man, step back, man, step back, step back. Okay, all right, the, uh, Darius, the king of the media, uh, media Persians, okay, uh, and he reigned in his stead, the first over all Greece. And he says, and many, uh, many wars, uh, and, and made many wars, and won many strongholds, and slew the kings of the earth. Because when you go into the scriptures, you find out that Esau was given the blessing of the sword, man. Okay? The blessing that Esau was given, one of the, well, really, he got the same blessing as us, but he got the blessing of the sword. Okay? That was his main blessing. And the scripture says that what? The wicked are going to be taken over by their own devices, which is the ICBM nuclear missiles of the book of Isaiah, the fourth chapter, and the 16th, 16th verse talks about how the, how the, 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 um, um, the moral side has created the smith, okay, that bringeth forth an instrument of his work, Okay, what's the instrument of his work? Okay, the waste to destroy. Okay, which is the ICBM nuclear missiles that they, they really they, they they got that from the German uh, 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 the German scientists that they brought back and forth during the time of, of World War II, because them German scientists were the, like the top guys when it came to what to understanding how the, the nuclear particles they, they split up and then the energy is released and then you can you can make a a, 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 a weapons out of that. Okay, they, they was the top guys at that. And I believe it was Project Paperclip that had it to where they was trans transported from all the way out there in Germany, okay, into the Americas. And after doing so, the Americans was able to obtain what was known as the ICBM nuclear missile, man. And that changed the whole landscape of the, of the whole game. Okay, that changed the whole landscape of the whole game. But see, the point I'm making is that, is that, is that what? Whether it might be German Edomites, or French Edomites, okay, or American Edomites, or British Edomites, their blessing is the sword, okay? Their blessing is the sword. When they was taking down, uh, you know, you, they showed you that in, in last summer, right? When they was taking down them, uh, uh, them what was it, the Moabites, them, them Ammonites out there, okay, they had the blessing of the sword, which was what? Which was the Gatling gun, okay? So they, when it comes to weaponry, they're on another level. And, and when you go into the different aspects of the scriptures and so on and so forth, you find out Esau basically got his hand up, okay? He basically got his leg up within this world, by way of the blessing of the sword, and the scripture is telling you the same thing here. Okay, it says, and he made many wars and won many strongholds and slew the kings of the earth. And they went through all the ends of the earth and took spoils of the of many nations, insomuch that the earth was quite poor. So they will have you believe that they're so-called sophisticated and they are intelligent, but when really they have obtained everything that they have, okay, through war and violence. Okay, you got it to where you got the uh, 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 um the, the different uh, uh, central banks within the world. Okay, that they have vaults of gold and so on and so forth. Man, that gold has been there from since millennia, man. Okay, gold is not just spewing out of the earth. This gold is transferred from kingdom to kingdom. So what kingdom did they take it off? They took off of the existing throne that they that was established before them. So you got it to where these Edomites will have you believe that they've been ruling forever and ever. Reality in this situation is they've been ruling for what? For about 400 years, man. Okay, with really the beginning of it going back onto what? Onto the Borgia family, all right, out there within, what was it, Spain? Okay, when you had, uh, 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 um, when uh, when you had uh, 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 the, 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 the rulership of the Moors out there within within uh, within Spain, I think it was, and you had the Borgia, the first crime family, rise up into there, and after that you had it where Esau was going out there strong, and they went out there, they established what? They established uh, America, okay, uh, via this guy, Christopher Colon, Okay, and, and they stole all the riches from everybody within the world. Okay, that's that's how the story goes. They didn't, because they were so uh, 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 um, intuitive. Okay, they're so smart that they, they obtained this, this throne, this position that they're in. 
they did it through violence, man. And the, the, the scriptures uh, marry up with that. They said this, this, they said that what? Alexander the Greek, right? He won the world with many strongholds by way of what? By may, way of making wars with him. Now check it out. It was prophecy for him to do that. Because when you go into the book of, uh, uh, was it the book of Daniel? Maybe the eighth chapter. Okay, the scripture talks about a, 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 a he goat that was going to come up, and he was going to take down the Medo Persian Empire. And if I'm not mistaken, the history also shows you that the Alexander went to the to, to the um to the to the Hebrew uh, uh, um, scholars that basically identified him as being what that uh, um that uh, that he got that was going to take um that was going to take the um, Medo Persians down. Okay, and pretty much that's what gave him the, the confidence to take down the one million man army. Okay, so now continuing. Uh, within the book of 1st Maccabees it says and went through to the ends of the earth and took many spoils in so much the earth was quiet before him whereupon he exalted himself and his heart was lifted up now that goes to show you that's the typical characteristics of, of, of Esau now let's go to the book of Obadiah real quick and then we can come back to this topic okay so the book of Obadiah okay the book of Obadiah this is um the first chapter, uh, from the top on down, it says, uh, the, uh, the vision of Obadiah, thus saith the Lord concerning Edom, all right, we have heard a rumor, okay, uh, concerning, thus saith the Lord concerning Edom, we have heard a rumor, okay, from the Lord, okay, we have heard uh, uh, an ambassador is sent amongst the heathen, arise ye let us go up to, against her in battle. Behold, I've made thee small amongst the heathen, thou art greatly despised. And when you check out who's really greatly despised amidst all of these nations, they'll tell you that they hate them America even much above any other type of Edom, man. Okay, because America's the one that goes into these different lands and countries and they just take everything that they want. Okay, you got it to where you got iPhone making what? Was what? The first uh, trillion dollar company or whatever? I 